This video is your guide to landing an AI role in six months, starting from scratch. Nobody can guarantee you a job, but if you follow my framework, you will be the first in the queue among thousands. So you wanted to become a data scientist. You learned all the data science concepts. You even did some internship. Yet you are not able to land your first entry level job. You are not alone. In fact, there are thousands like you, unfortunately. I have previously made a video on why people are not able to get entry level AI jobs even in this AI boom and why you should not learn machine learning or data science if you want a job in the AI field and what you must learn instead. If you haven't watched that video, please make sure you do. Now let's get to this six month roadmap for breaking into a successful AI career starting from scratch. Whether you are starting from scratch or you have already learned machine learning, this is what your next six months should ideally look like. I'll also explain how this roadmap will differ if you already have some machine learning experience or knowledge, but let's assume you are starting from scratch. This roadmap takes you from zero or absolutely nothing to a generative AI expert in six months. So this roadmap and the time frame would obviously vary from person to person I've taken an example of somebody who is average uh, and who's who's able to and who's willing to give four to six hours every day for the next six months and who's starting from a scratch. So if somebody is more brilliant, can grasp new concepts faster, the time frame probably would be uh, smaller or maybe they can get they can fit more into the same time frame. If somebody already knows Python or uh, machine learning, some of the machine learning concepts, again, the time frame might be a bit smaller. Uh, if somebody does not have four to five hours of time, probably already working somewhere and can only spend one to two hours a day, time frame might be larger. And again, if somebody can spend more than four to six hours, can maybe spend eight hours, 10 hours a day, the time frame again could be smaller. The idea is that this time frame, this this roadmap has been made, taking into account an average person giving around four to six hours of uh, time every day. Now let's look at this roadmap in details. So this is a six month time frame, and in the month one, week one and two, you should focus on learning Python. Not a lot of Python. You don't have to become a Python expert. You need to learn Python as much as needed, just enough Python. The week three is for basic LLM concepts. When I say basic LLM concepts, I mean concepts like transformers, architecture, tokenization, pre-training, fine tuning, temperature, etc. The theory part. Week four is for prompt engineering. Very important, must focus. Let's move to month two. Week one is for learning some basic RAG concept. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. Week 2 is for LangChain. LangChain is a very famous and widely used framework for building LLM apps. Week 3 is for Llama Index. It's a framework for effective indexing of custom data sources. Now both LangChain and Llama Index are great for building RAG based applications. Week 4 is for getting yourself familiarize with Hugging Face because it has a huge repository of open source LLM models and even otherwise Hugging Face is something that you must know about. Then let's move to month 3. With all the knowledge that you have gained uh, in month 1 and 2, the week 1 of month 3 should be building a basic RAG based application. It could be a simple question answer system or a chatbot on a custom data source. There are other use cases. See something that you can do easily in one week time. Week two is for learning advanced RAG concepts. Now these are various techniques to overcome the shortcoming of vanilla RAG based applications. You might try different retrieval techniques and query optimization, graph RAG, self RAG and chain of thought prompting. There is quite a bit. Now week 3 is for building an advanced RAG based application. The use cases are same as the basic RAG app but 
you should aim for improvement in the performance now let's move to month 4 the week one of month 4 is to be focused on agents concept now the future is all about internet of agents what exactly is internet of agents I- i'm pretty sure that most of you at least most of you would have heard about iot that is internet of things on the same line very soon in the future you will have this concept of internet of agents very very hot right now very early stays in the hype cycle so please make sure that you give extra focus to this concept agents while langchain does support agentic frameworks by itself there are some more specialized framework focusing on agents like auto gpt or free ai do make sure that you at least learn one of them pretty well now once you are done with the agent concept the week 2 and 3 is for building a basic ag- agentic app when i say basic i mean a single agent app so the app should be driven by a single agent well there are many use cases in fact there there are infinite number of use cases but you can maybe think about uh, email summarizer tool planner or a meeting note taker etc now comes the next important part that is build and deploy so the week 4 of month 4 and week 1 of month 5 should be focused on building and deploying you basically need to build some basic front end using frameworks like streamlit don't get too fancy and you should try deploying your app on one of the clouds preferably AWS or Azure. Now the week two of month five is for multi-agent concepts. So now you must move from single agents to multi-agents, and how these agents work together to achieve a certain goal. After learning the multi-agent concept, the week three and week four of month five is for building a multi agent app there are infinite number of use cases you can think of something or you can search online what excites you something like an itinerary planner or a complex chatbot would be an example any use case where you can think of more than one as a human being more than one human working together you can translate it to a multi agent system moving to month 6 uh, the first two weeks should be for building a agentic rag app so what i mean is that you need to combine the agentic concept and the rag concept that is retrieval augmented generation and build an app based on these two concepts together a simple use case could be a chatbot which relies on multiple datasets uh, maybe a uh, one dataset is uh, say a pdf or a document where you can apply uh, the rag concept and then the other dataset is maybe table uh, a sql table and you can make use of agents to query the sql table and get the relevant data and then reply to the end user you know as needed this is a very simple use case you can think of other use cases where rag and agents can come together then comes the week 3 and 4 of month 6 try fine tuning when i say fine tuning i do not mean full fine tuning that's quite difficult not because of a uh, uh, complex concept but because it's, it's quite compute intensive what i mean is a parameter efficient fine tuning pft logic try some pft based app this will conclude your 6 month of journey now this is one thing that i did not touch while i was going through all uh, this 6 month is that starting from month 4 uh, after you have built couple of rag based application start posting about your projects on linkedin showcase what you are doing it does not have to be completely mind blowing con- uh, project explain what you tried explain what worked what did not work post on linkedin also i mean for this you should not even wait till uh, month 3 this is something that you should start from day 1 build a killer github profile and this is an ongoing thing as and when as and when you learn new things you do new projects keep updating both linkedin and github now 
let's get back to uh, month six. Now that you have completed month six and you have done some good uh, projects, this is the time to start applying for jobs. And don't just focus on jobs that require no experience. You should, you should in fact uh, apply for jobs that require up to one, two years of experience. The good thing is that in this field, there's nobody who can claim more than two years of experience. Everybody is either fresher one year or max two years. And since you have been posting on LinkedIn about your work, about what you have learned uh, month three onward, this will give you a lot of traction. And if you can bring even a bit of novelty in your projects, chances are that you will get hired right away, just based on what you have been sharing on LinkedIn. As long as the projects are decent, don't just pick up something crap. Nobody is looking for uh, a PDF summarizer. Now, this framework was for six months. The idea was to get a job in six months. Then why do I have month seven, eight, nine? Well, hopefully, hopefully you will get a job soon, right after six months or even before that. But at times, in fact, uh, very often, job search does take one to three months, even in a good economy. And that's why I have months seven, eight, and nine in this roadmap. This is just to depict how you must spend your time while you are still looking for the right road. Now is the time to slowly add other machine learning and data science skills to your arsenal. Post six months, divide your time roughly 50-50. Keep investing 50% of your time in generative AI and use the rest 50% to acquire data science skills, but from the bottoms up approach. That is starting from generative AI, then uh, some other deep learning concepts, and then machine learning. You will need to keep investing 50% of your time in generative AI till you get your job and even after that, because of the immense speed of innovation in the generative AI field. New models arrive every week and frameworks, libraries around generative AI gets updated and arrive every other week. You may have noticed that while speaking about generative AI, I exclusively spoke about large language models. However, you do know that generative AI spreads across images, videos, and audios. But I did not include them in this roadmap because working with them is more difficult and more compute intensive. Hence, I did not include them in the beginning of your generative AI journey. Also, most of the jobs around generative AI are currently around large language models. But the time after six months is a good time to start adding some of these other models to your skill set. You will have to keep yourself on top of all these developments. You will have to keep doing more and more projects. Now, coming to those who have already learned machine learning. The only difference is that after six months, instead of dividing your time 50-50, Divide your time roughly around 65% for generative AI and 35% for machine learning since you already know quite a bit of machine learning. Keep adding more machine learning projects and keep adding more generative AI projects. Together, we will win and we will get the first AI job that you are looking for. I have previously made a video on complete roadmap for becoming a generative AI expert. This video is a practical implementation of that roadmap. Make sure you watch that video as well. Even though the first six months of my framework only has large language models, primarily because it's easier to work with them. If, if your interest is such that you want to work with uh, images or videos or audio, be my guest, please follow your interest. While it's a bit more difficult, it's definitely doable. You can substitute some of the LLM based apps from this framework with the one that you would like to do from say image or video or audio model. While it's more specialized and probably there are less number of jobs for uh, you know, uh, images, videos or uh, audio models, but since it's more specialized, it could actually be a plus point for you. Do what interests you. This is just a guideline a framework for somebody who is looking for a guidance. It's not a hard and fast rule. It's not something that is written in stone. 
follow your passion. Don't forget to share this video with somebody who is struggling to get into AI field. Do subscribe if you would like to get notified when the next video drops. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one.